Hey guys and welcome to another Guardians of Wiltshire production. You're here with your host Luke and this is week three of my hobby vlogs. So it's the start of another week and start of completely new project for me. Uh, so as you would have seen in the last couple of videos, I'd had Gandalf and Radagast stripping away and I managed to get them reassembled and resprayed. Looking at them, I quite like the models, so hopefully when there's a bit of paint on them, they'll even stand out a little bit more. Uh, so aim for this week with these guys is just to get a bit of paint on, maybe just the base layers, maybe a wash, see how they turn out. If I've got time, maybe get some highlights on them. Really looking forward to Radagast base here. I think it's probably one of the first scenic bases on a infantry sized model that I've done, to be honest. Other than there was a Balrog scenic base, but this one I'm really looking forward to. Um, and then if I come over to this side, this will be the second part of my project. And I'm jumping on the Iron Hills bandwagon. So really looking forward to how these to get these guys painted as soon as I've got Dane with his pig all done as well. Uh, my plan for these guys is hopefully I'll be able to borrow some lead belt to spray off Dewey in the week. And that'll be my first thing with these guys just to make it a bit easier because they are pretty much all silver, maybe some highlights on the armour. So we can get a decent shot. Yeah, I guess some highlights on the armour. Bit of detail in the faces, front of the shields. I'm thinking of doing a red, as I've done sort of reds on Dane as well. So yeah, I'll do the shields in red. Um, so yeah, this week, try and get all the silvers done, pick out all the other colours. Again, a wash. And that'll be my sort of aim for the week. Got a tablet there ready to get something on in the background. And I'll come back with some progress for you guys. So I thought I'd come in with my progress uh, from yesterday and I managed to get a little bit done, not as much as I'd like, other stuff got in the way. Um, but so far I've done this much on Gandalf. So I managed to get all of this cloak with grey. Um, I'm thinking on the, the bits of cloth that come down, such as this bit and this bit on the back as well. I might do them sort of the same colour as his hat, which is sort of a, a bluey grey. Just so there's a bit of differentiation in colour on his robes. Um, let me get a close-up shot of his face. Because I use a different flesh tone. There we go, that's not too bad. Um, the beard I'm happy with at the minute. Obviously he needs a bit of wash and maybe some few lighter and maybe darker highlights just to make it pop but with the flesh I decided to use well normally I use uh, what is it called Cadian flesh tone that's the standard that I what I normally use but for these two I decided to use Kislev flesh is that how you pronounce it Kislev Kislev something like that decided to use that just because I feel it's more of a a paler natural skin tone sort of thing. So if I, I haven't got any models to hand, but with once you've added washes and trying to highlight it with Cadian flesh and it comes out quite dark. So I thought I'd try Kisler flesh on these guys. So that's Gandalf. And here's my progress with Radagast. So he's coming along a lot better. Again, with the flesh on his face and his legs there, now that it's had a wash, it definitely looks more natural on his hand there, his face there. Yeah, let me close up shot for you. Yeah, it's definitely looking a lot more natural. So at this stage, he's just had sort of base colours done and just a single wash. Uh, quite happy with how he's turning out at the minute, actually. Um, look on his base as well. Managed to pick out some of the the leaves and the f mushrooms. Spiders in there are all black, so they might be a, a bit difficult to come out. Once there's a bit of flock on the base, they should stand out a bit. Um, and his face as well. 
I never normally do this, but I think I might try and pick out his eyes. Because looking at it, this model really lends itself to it. The way that it's sculpted is really clear where the eyes are. So yeah, I'll try, I'll try eyes on Radagast for the first time. Um, pick out his gemstone and his staff there, maybe highlights on that. But looking at timescales, all his highlights and stuff, might have to wait till next week. So main focus now is just to get Gandalf to the same sort of standard, all his base colours done on a wash. And then obviously told you the Iron Hills, they're going to get sprayed with lead belcher. So once I get that done, I'll come back with another clip for you guys. So I thought I'd come in quickly guys. I'm about to set off to go to Dowie's, do a bit of filming, maybe a back rip or two. Look forward to that into the future. Uh, but I thought I'd just show you a bit of the progress I've made on my Gandalf. So here we go. As I said, I wanted to put a bit of blue on the extra cloth on the robes. Before I added the, the shade, the Agrax Earth shade, it stood out a bit too much and I wasn't sure. But now looking at it, if I can get a wide shot with a bit of light, there we go. It doesn't look too bad. I think it works really well with the, with the model. Again, adding a bit of differentiation in colour. If you can go look at the back there. There we go. I think it works really well with the, the dark grey of the cloak. So yeah, all I've done literally the same, same as Radagast. Here is over there. Just got the, the base colours down and just a, a wash really. Um, I think that'll do for this week on the Wizards. Let's bring them both together. See what they look like. Radagast looks a bit more complete and Gandalf because he's got I've got a bit more paint on the base. Um, with Gandalf's base, it's not going to do anything too special. Just literally what I've done for my high elf arm. If you haven't seen that, check out the Articon singles review. We do a little showcase there. But literally, it's just there a rocky base, bit of flock, and then brown round the the rim. Uh, so I thought I'd quickly just show you that, guys, before I start off the dowries. So as you can probably see, I've got a bit of a change in location. I'm at Dowie's at the minute. Uh, like I said before, I've got my Iron Hills sprayed with Lead Belcher. So if we have a look at some of these, they look so much better painted with a bit of spray on. You can really see the detail in them. This looks so cool. So what I'll probably do with these guys, like I said, is with the shields on the front there, do it with, um, I can't remember what red it is, but the red I used with Dane. Um, maybe some bronze on there as well it's on the helmet and picking out the detail on sort of the the scabbard whatever it's called with the sword um, I think is there any I can't see any cloth on the actual by the armor but I'll probably do a bit of red highlights there as well just to get a bit of a color differentiation so yeah I just thought I'd come in and show you these guys and probably get some paint on these guys later on today so this is probably going to be my last clip for this week's hobby vlog um, I'm not sure if I'll get anything else done it's now Friday so I won't be able to get anything else done before this goes out um, so as you see with these iron hills after getting them sprayed at Dowie's I managed to get the reds on the shields they look a lot better now and I've also, if I just pick one up for you, been able to pick out some of the the red cloth. I assume it's cloth underneath the chain mail. Just picking out all of that on the edges. I think once that's done, that's going to really help the models pop. Especially on, if it, because they're all majority metals, a bit of red to go with it will make it look outstanding I think um, yeah then I'm not sure where next to go with these guys I may go over these sort of chain mail bits in what's it called uh, a lighter silver so runefang steel 
go over that in the chain mail to go with so it's sort of like heavy dwarf mithril sort of thing um and yeah and just pick out some of the bronzes especially on the helmet pick out the the flesh tones in the face do the gloves in a different color and you see i've done the shields in a uh, dark brown uh rhinox hide i think it is so i might do the gloves in sort of an even darker brown maybe even black just to get a bit of contrast in there with the beards and the hair i'll probably do a mixture of browns gingers maybe some greys as well just so they've got a bit of variety there so that is probably it for this week as i said i've got gandalf here show him off as well in front of the doors next to radagast so yeah a few more highlights on these two get the base done they should be completed in next week's vlog hopefully same for the iron hills as well i don't foresee it taking too long to get all the extra colors on, on the washes and then pick up the final few highlights after that so if you enjoyed this hobby vlog make sure you comment like share and subscribe and we'll see you next week